All right, I'm going to show you how to replace the uh, string uh, trimmer head on an Echo SRM266, which I'm sure this applies to other models of uh, Echo string trimmers as well. So that's the old head. I, I took the, the cover off and the, the string inside. I took that off already. And what you need to do is, first of all, you got to line up you got to lock this in place. So I have a screw sticking in there. There's a notch right here. You, you can clearly see the notch. And then inside here, there's a hole in the, uh, I'm not really sure what you call it. You can call it a gear or whatever that holds the, the head in place. So you line that hole up and then you put the screw in there to stop the head from spinning while you um, turn clockwise to get that trimmer head off. And yes, I did say clockwise. Normally, when you turn a bolt or something else clockwise, you're, you're tightening it. But in this case, it's reverse thread. So that's how you do that. You turn it clockwise until you unscrew the head right off. All right, so if you find you're having trouble uh, unscrewing the head, the old head from the string trimmer, um, again, it goes clockwise to unloosen it. But if you have a problem, use your uh, spark plug tool and take the head, par partially disassemble the head like I did, take the lid off the string out, and feed the, the shaft of this tool up through here and right through here. So it'll give you more leverage on it. See that? So now I got that loosened up. I mean, I put a little bit more force than that on it, but it didn't, it wasn't that bad, but grabbing it by hand, it was pretty difficult to get off. And then just unscrew it all the way off. And there it is. There's the old head right there, and there's the, the threaded stud right there, which is obviously going to be reused. You don't need to replace that. And then just put your new head in place and tighten it up. All right, so there's the new uh, speed feed head right there. It's already loaded with string. Here's the back side of it. And then just screw it on. And this time we're going to go, of course, in reverse to screw it on. Pretty simple. Obviously, there's a reason why it has a reverse pattern on threads. That way, when you're using it, the head doesn't loosen up over time and fly off while you're using the tool, uh, string trimmer. So, and then on this bottom piece right here, I wouldn't do it with this piece, but on this bottom piece, you could grip this area right here and give it a nice, uh, nice snug fit on there. Tighten it up and. And you'll be ready to go and make sure you take that screw out before you start it up. And that's it.